morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin Fam YouTube show. For the newcomers, my name is Didi Tayutu. Yes, I am the guy that literally sold everything he owned with his family three and a half years ago. His house, his companies, his cars, his bikes, his her 70 pairs of shoes, everything. We went all into Bitcoin and we started to travel the world. Now, three and a half years later, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Alicante in Spain. In today's video, of course, taking a look at the Bitcoin price, I have some amazing charts for you guys, but also talking some very serious shit because you have been asking me to talk about the true fundamentals of Bitcoin and blockchain, so I will do this. Some serious issues that I would love to see your comments on below this video. Also sharing with you guys how these almond trees around me are being harvested in Spain. Yes, a very unique way that you will like. You will like the whole video, believe me. So start watching now. Enjoy the video. Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video. Today I'm not going to take a big jump, a small jump to the end of the driveway and I walk you back because today they are going to harvest the almond trees. I want to show you how it works here in Spain when they harvest almond trees as well. But of course also talk about the Bitcoin price, blockchain and life. First things first, let's put on my new flip flops. Let me know if you like them. Yes, ready to go. Whoop! Yes, that was a short jump just to the driveway in front of the house. Yes, very sad dog at the backside. He wants to join me, but today he can't. He already had his walk for one hour due to this beautiful area, so now he needs to wait because I need to do my job. Like I said guys, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video because I had a lot of fun making it. Oh my god, my flip flops got stuck in the mud. Um, yeah, the views were amazing, the jump in the pool was so refreshing in this valley between these tropical trees, it was just amazing. Um, finally received some new flip flops, born to be free flip flops, just like my shirt, born to be free. Of course you can buy them at uh, thebitcoinfamily.com and while buying them you're supporting all poor people of the world because we are using 20% of the profits to give it away to charities or poor people that we meet during our travels. Later this morning they are going to harvest the almond trees so I'm going to show you this on the way back. Let's first talk about the Bitcoin price. Let's jump into some charts. This is the first chart. BAM! This is a one hour chart guys. On this one hour chart every candle is 60 minutes is an hour. So on this one hour chart guys you can see that we made a double bottom around 11,140. After having made this double bottom around 11,140 since creating this double bottom of 11,140 we can see Bitcoin price climbing up again. The target is 11,500. This is the target that we need to break in the short term. If we are able to close the candle above 11,400 is a very positive indicator and in the one hour chart that will be an indicator to go up to 11,500 and try to reach 11,800. If we are not able to break this 11,500 resistance level, guys, then we can fall back again to 11,200 or even again to 11,140 as this is a huge support level. But guys, like you are used for me, I just prefer to zoom out on charts. So let's take a look at a few zoomed out charts. Let's take a look at a weekly chart. This is a chart created by Lisa. Bam! Beautiful colorful chart again. Thank you Lisa for sharing this chart on Twitter. On Twitter, this chart is a weekly chart. Every candle is representing a week. On this weekly chart, Lisa found an inverted head and shoulders pattern. You can see this on the green part. So you get a shoulder on the left, then you get a head downwards and you get another shoulder. The right shoulder is not the best shoulder you can see on the chart, but Lisa calculated everything and she's stating it is a legit right shoulder. 
if this is a inverted head and shoulder pattern this is an indicator that the price will be climbing all the way up to 16,990 US dollar the green line in the top of the chart because this is exactly the distance from the neckline till the end of the head and then you take this distance to the breakout and then this breakout will reach around 16,990. Will this be one huge candle? Yes, that can be possible, but it's also possible, guys, that we create a, so, that we create a few sub waves again. So that means that we first break 11,400, and after the 11,400, we are going to go to, to break the 14K level, and after the 14K level, then we are going to go all the way up to the 16K level. And if we get really bullish, so that means the FOMO kicks in, we could even take it all the way up to the 20k level like you can see on this chart on the top yellow line and guys if we zoom even more out we need to look at the monthly chart let's take a look at this monthly chart bam on this monthly chart created by dave the wave i found it on twitter as well you can see what dave is expecting to happen if you look to the left on the chart you can see in the previous bull runs there was this huge triangle formed and bitcoin acted in this triangle you can also see this logarithmic curve line that Bitcoin used as a support many of times. Now we are exactly in the middle of this triangle, so we are on track as Dave DeWeese is stating. Be aware guys, this is a monthly chart. Every candle represents 30 days or 31 days, it's a monthly chart. We are exactly in the middle of the triangle like we should be. Yes. If you look to the left, you can see we have been hugging this upward line many times in the previous bull runs. So yes, there is a possibility that we are going to hug this line again. This line is now around 10, 11K, but the longer we hold the middle of the triangle, it will be a higher number. I think it will around be around 11,200 at the end. So exactly on track. And if we are exactly on track, and if we would be following this chart guys yes we would see a bitcoin price of more than 100,000 us dollar during the next bull run really cool chart dave thanks for sharing by the way guys i received my new shirts yesterday just to wear them during the videos of course so you will see me wearing more new bitcoin shirts in the next future check these shirts that i received yesterday bam package I ordered from the shop so not a gift it's my flip-flops my t-shirts and all that stuff so let's see how they look don't worry be happy born to be free guys do you also like the shirts I really like the Generation X one and the Born to be Free one, but now I have one with the singlets as well, so I'm going to wear it also in the next video because it's bloody hot here. Of course, don't worry, be happy is cool and the Bitcoin revolution is all cool. You will see me wearing these shirts. If you want to buy these shirts, guys, go to the bitcoinfamily.com. You can buy all these shirts here in all colors and all sizes. And again, 25% of the profits go to charity, go to poor people all over the world. You're not only helping yourself by buying a cool shirt, but you're also helping all these people in the world that are really in need. In the latest videos, I got some comments, Didi, you're only talking about the price, not about the true fundamentals of Bitcoin anymore. And yes, I need to admit, I have been talking a lot about the price because this is exactly what people want to hear but I try to slip in as much as possible information about the true fundamentals, but I will start to keep an eye on myself, guys, now, that I keep maintaining the level of true fundamental subjects in the videos. So I will start this now, and I will continue filling this video with more true fundamental stuff so you understand why Bitcoin was invented in the first place. But to make a very cool start, let's talk about the negative part of blockchain. Because blockchain is the underlying technology, as you guys know, and we all think that blockchain is going to be liberating us from everything in the world because it's creating this decentralized world. Yes, I am a true believer of this decentralizing of the world and Bitcoin and blockchain being the perfect tools to support this decentralizing of the world and to make this world again a better place that is honest for all the people all over the world. So that gives everybody in the world access to the monetary system, but also access to data, 
internet and many more things in the future. But we need to be honest guys, because blockchain is also a perfect tool for all these centralized organizations to centralize the world even more. Huh? What do you mean Didi? Blockchain is decentralizing the world. Yes, but I will repeat, it can also be used to centralize the world even more. I will turn around and walk back to the house and tell you why I think it can also be used by the other side of the world. So let's take for example China. China has this social credit system where people receive credits for uh, good behavior and where the credits are taken for bad behavior. It's not, of course it is not like this uh, Black Mirror episode, Big Brother. You know, it's not that far yet. If you haven't seen the Black Mirror episodes, by the way, do take a time to watch all Black Mirror episodes on Netflix because they are really cool. There is one that is showing us how the social credit system could work in the far future. So China's social credit system is not that far yet, but in my opinion, it's already too far. And now China announced that they are going to use the blockchain to store all this data of the social credit system. Even worse, there is now a blockchain project supporting all this crazy stuff and they are now coll collecting all the national data into this blockchain and then create beautiful reports to the Chinese government on how people behaved. What do you mean, Didi? How people behaved? How can they track this? Let me give you some examples. If people pay their taxes on time, they receive credits. If they pay back their loans on time, they also receive credits. The same counts for all the other bills. So if people pay their bills on time, they receive credits. If they don't pay these bills on time, their taxes on time, or pay back their loans on time, these credits will again be taken from them. So you have the positive score if you do everything correct. You get a negative score when you do things wrong. Or when, not when you do things wrong, but when you pay back loans or taxes too late which of course always can happen in my opinion. You can get sick, you can get COVID or whatever, but then they don't give a shit. If you don't pay on time, your credits will be gone. Some more examples. If you, for example, break the traffic rules, you drive through a red light, bam, gone on your credits. The most strangest thing, if you cross your family limits, yes, you can just have a limit amount of children different for every province in China, but if you cross that family limit, your credits will be taken from you. They even are tracking the social volunteering landscape. So if you're not volunteering enough, you're not receiving credits or they are taking your credits. And of course, when you get a criminal record, these credits will be taken from you as well. But now the blockchain is taking it a step further. They are now even connecting the whole social media environment, the whole internet environment. They will track all the things you search on the internet. And if you're searching for the wrong things, you will lose credits. If you search for positive things, you will gain credits. Credits. They will track all your social media posts. If, if you're posting negative things about China, believe me, you will lose credits. If you post positive things about China, you will receive credits. If you criticize products, companies, or whatever China loves, you will lose credits. This is a social crediting system. It will even track your shopping habits. What are you buying? Are you buying illegal stuff? Are you buying strange stuff? Why are you buying stuff from the United States? Why are you buying stuff in Europe? You should be buying from China. Why did you? And if you did buy from Europe or United States, maybe you lose your credits. Because guys, let's support China. You need to buy in China, then you get credits. This is how they force you into the social credit system in China that you will be almost brainwashed into only believing China is good. I really don't like this. What do you think about this? Please leave this in the comments. Do you think that the blockchain can be used in this false way as well? And will countries follow China? Are countries already following China? And you know what the worst part is? That if you don't have enough credits, you won't be able to get a loan. You won't even be able to travel abroad. They will keep you in China if you don't have enough credits. You won't be able to book luxury hotels. You won't be able to get a governmental job. All these stuffs are connected from now on because they are stored on a blockchain. 
So not enough credits, no luxury items, no good jobs, no flying abroad, no social support, no insurance premium, no good schools for your kids because you don't have enough social credits. I really don't like this. I think they can even cut off your internet access or your so social services because of not having enough credits. I think this is a crazy step we as human beings are taking. But I'm also afraid that not only China is a country that is going to do this. China started to use this blockchain for this, but many countries will follow in my opinion. Because we can see this now during this whole crazy flu situation that they now want you guys to add a tracking app on your device. And then they say, yes, we'd use it to track if you're near other COVID patients or all that stuff. But this is just another step closer to full control, in my opinion. And of course, guys, I understand that your iPhone already is a tracking device and that even in the update of iPhone, you can now see this COVID part where you can enable the COVID tracking but you need to install a COVID tracking app and of course to use it, but it is already built in the iPhone update. Of course they already know and they can track what you're spending, where you're traveling and all that stuff because you use an iPhone, they just use the GPS data and they can see where you're hanging out with your telephone. They know everything about you. They know your behavior. They know what you're buying. They know what you're searching. They already have all this data and the only thing they need to do is to combine it on a very transparent, database called the blockchain and then they can start to use it if they want at the moment they are not using it in Europe or in the States of course because it's against our privacy rights it's against all fundamental rights of a being a human being but who says they are not going to change these laws because let's be honest just because of the flu they already changed many laws all over the world now they can do a temporarily block the lockdown they can just lock you up in your houses because they change the law. They can change the law for everything, so they can also take away our privacy. And yes, our children are already growing up in this system, that if you get a lot of likes on Instagram or on TikTok, and have a lot of people like you, you are doing good. This is what we teach our children nowadays. The more followers and the more likes you have, the more social active you are and the more people will love you for your social activities. Yes, I'm doing it as well. I'm creating videos on YouTube, making sure to get a lot of thumbs up, making sure I get a lot of subscribers. But I'm all doing it for a good cause because guys, yes, the revenues are going to be shared with poor people. And in my videos, I try to warn you for what is happening in the world. Can we still turn this around? Yes, of course we can. But then all the influencers in the world need to educate you guys on the positive blockchain projects you can start to use to maintain your privacy. This is why I love Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies. I want to keep my spendings private. There are other projects out there like the Brave Browser which will keep your searching on Google and many other search engines private. These are all blockchain projects that are supporting your privacy and your human rights. So I am going to add more and more of these positive blockchain projects to my videos. Because I want you guys to understand the difference between a blockchain project that is really in it for the true fundamentals of Bitcoin and blockchain or a blockchain project that is really in it for the true fundamentals of all these centralized governments that have been controlling our lives the last couple of decades. I even registered a domain for this, blockchain or bullshit.com. I have the idea to create a website on there where we can show the difference between all these different blockchain projects, but I have not been able to find the time yet to create this website. So if one of you guys out there is believing in the same values I'm talking about and wants to help me with setting up a really cool website on blockchain or bullshit.com, then please reach out to me in a private message and we can set up something amazing together. Wow, Didi, that was some very, very deep and very serious shit, Didi. Yes, but I need to spend some time to the serious shit as well so you guys understand the way I am thinking. Yes, I know it is some serious shit, but please, please let me know in the comments how you think about all this stuff happening in the world. Do you think more countries will start, will start to use the blockchain in a negative way? 
Let me know in the comments because I love to hear your opinion. Let's educate each other and all the other subscribers as well. The positive part still is guys, that we can still see Bitcoin increasing. We can see all the adoption of blockchain and Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies and other blockchain projects increasing tremendously all over the world. You saw that I bought Polkadot yesterday or the day before, I think for $4, it went up to $6. It's around $5.50 at the moment. I think it can even go to $15 or $20 because the project is really cool. So don't forget to check Polkadot guys. Arriving on the driveway guys, and I can see the machines that are going to harvest um, these beautiful almond trees here. So let's take a look on how the harvesting of these almond trees here in Spain is done. Really cool to see. Yes, not only educating you about blockchain and Bitcoin, but also on life and on nature and many other things in this channel because I just love to live life. It's automatically done by a truck, a huge truck and this truck folds open this kind of a parachute around the tree and then it starts to shake the tree and then all the almonds fall into this um, parachute and that's how they harvest. Check it. machine automatically filters all the leaves not only the leaves it also peels the almond so you get the hard shell off only thing that is left is the nut you get the nut and inside the nut the almond wow. this one very hot freshly from the tree they taste amazing mm. shit I am on a diet ah a few nuts <laughs> who cares mmm they are really great Milan yeah. did you taste one yourself yeah. did you taste one yourself Oh, they are very good. I want to thank you for watching today's video. If you did like the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your communities, hit the notification bell, subscribe to the channel, and please leave a comment because I love to respond to your comments. Thanks for watching, and please always remember, zoom out in crypto and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day because this is exactly what makes life worth living. See you tomorrow again. Bye.